Hey, thank you very much for checking me out. My name is Echo Simpson. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Ghana, Cape Coast to be specific. And I'm at the beach side. Yeah, when I say beach side, you're talking about the beautiful beaches you can find here in the central region of Ghana. Yes, that was a disturbance right there. So um, the sea is getting closer to the city. So the government is trying to protect that. Um, so they are constructing sea defense to you know prevent the sea from coming into the city. Aye. So like I said, we are the beach right now, beautiful beach. Maybe this year, uh, February, I'll be doing more on the beaches in Cape Coast and in Central Area. My last video you saw was at Apam. Uh, enjoying ourselves at Blue Diamond Beach, one of the beautiful beaches I could ever see in Cape Coast or in Central Region. All right, so today I visited one joint. When I say a joint, we the conscious people have a way of calling it. One beautiful place that the conscious brothers and sisters love to meet, talk about life, share about everything that has to do with you know having a natural living. So you can see I'm having this stick. It is a kebab, but it is for the vegetarian. This is my first time of trying it. This is no meat, right? This is made of, um, I have to ask my brother, uh, the one who owns the place, Raskobi. So we'll be talking to Raskobi about this place pretty soon. But when I go here, uh, my beautiful sister, like I told you, this is like natural way of living. So I came to meet my sister doing her thing. Uh, that is what most African women, they learn to do. You have to learn how to sew. So that in the house, uh, when your child has a torn dress, you can, you know, just put it on the machine and do it. So, mommy, what's that? I hope I'm watching. Yeah, I enjoy a a second. I'll go on up for so we just had a great thing. So let's go inside and show you more about this place. Thank you very much for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. I told you that um, I would like to show you watching me right now what is happening in Africa. But aside that, I have the uh, passion to connect brothers and the motherland to brothers and sisters from the diaspora. So today, I'm here at this conscious joint. Yes, uh, there are certain words that we use among ourselves here in Ghana that we only Ghanaians and African diasporas understand. I'm here uh, with the brother Kobe. Yes, uh, and then a the beautiful sister Ohima. I'm calling her Ohima because I heard Kobe calling her Ohima. Ohima means uh, it's a queen or empress. Yeah, queen or empress. Ghana. Yes. So Ohima, welcome to Ghana. Let us. All right, straight. Oh, she started using the language already. <laughs> All right. So, um, in showing my people, my followers about Ghana. I also want them to see how natural we are in our connections, especially uh, where we want to live, who we want to connect to. And I feel like this place is one of the baddest places that one can pass to. So tell us a little bit about this place. I've already taken some few videos. So tell us about this place and then we'll take it from there. All right. You're most welcome once again, my All right. Thank you. So as we were talking about, this is natural bamboo village, and it's a small like a simple vibe, simple small guest house, you know. So when you come there, you feel like home. You feel so simple. It's just like connecting you back to the eggs, mm -hmm. you know. And since life is becoming a little crazy, a little kind of funny, <laughs> I think that's what we all need. Simple liberty yeah. is the best, you know. It's not what millions of money can buy just what the soul can feel happy and i think when you come here you feel like that we do have rooms in here we do have a dormitory which contain like nine people and we also have two private rooms you know we also make vegan local vegan food i'm the chef doing <laughs> anything that you want you want to elevate to you you know you're most welcome so that's something small that we have in here. Uh, do you want to add anything to it my favorite part is the top where you get to look over the ocean and maybe peek out and look at this slave castle as a diasporan um, 
a lot of people are connected to the slave castle as that was our first origination that a, that they teach us that we came from Africa from the slave castle. So it's really cool to have the experience to be right next door and feel the energy of it. Uh, beautiful. Um, looking at the colors around, I see uh, the Jamaican colors. Yeah. I see the Marcos Gavi colors. Uh, what is it with Kobe, the bamboo village, and these colors? What is the connection? I think it's like it's part of we. That's what I think as an African. Because those colors make me strong too when we think about it, when we know the meaning about it. But, you know, mostly I like those colors. I do like Rego Green too, and that's that's the color of we. Mm -hmm. Some people would think like it's Ethiopia colors too, but that's yeah. our colors. Yeah. That's what we're using here, yeah. you know. As we know that the, the red group is what simplify the blood in it that our forefathers poor. And that's the yellow is the gold that we have in here. The green is, you know, the green style, yeah. the timber, the forest yeah. that we have in here. So all those colors boost you up. That's why I like to design in here so that you can be connected to it, okay. to who we are. Okay. Okay. Looking at, let me ask you, is this your first time in Ghana? Yes. Your first time in Ghana? Why this place? You should have been at maybe some hotel hanging around, <laughs> or maybe in a crowd with the oh, East Legon doing all those things. But you prefer to be here. What is it with here and then you? Um, uh, mainly the natural vibe. Like I left the Western world to get closer to Mother Earth to have to live off of those things. Um, those are the things that are going to allow us to sustain as a people. Um, having to manufacture cement and um, which is very uncomfortably hot by the way <laughs> like I don't know why any of the houses are made out of cement here but the bamboo is nice it's it keeps it cool it's abundant in the forest it gives the locals work to do and it's it's an, an, an almost an unlimited resource here once we use anything that mama earth grows to us Okay, I learned that um, it's a little bit difficult to convince a younger African diaspora mm -hmm. to move from all those riches mm, it is. to come to Ghana or to come to Africa. Mm -hmm. Was it was it difficult for you to make that step? And what what was your friend saying? I mean, why are you going to Africa? Mm -hmm. Was there anything mm -hmm. like that? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm. I describe myself as a person who typically lives off of the cuff, so I. I normally do things against social norms um, because I'm wanting to be in a place where I feel most comfortable. Um, so it wasn't difficult for me to leave a lot of the Western things um, because as a young African American, um, things are increasingly expensive um, to get manufactured things and to make a house that you can comfortably live in in America um, so here I figured like everybody would be living in things like this and then I see everybody living in these very very hot houses with no ventilation <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like I'm sure a clay house would be yeah. a lot nicer <laughs> but yeah so um, the feedback I got I'm a I'm a yoga teacher, so I okay. typically live a very natural lifestyle. Okay. Um, I like to be in the elements, get the charge from Mother Nature. So um, people kind of just expected it out of me. I'm not. Okay, like awesome. Um, when I go here, I saw you guys getting some tattoos. Um, <laughs> my tattoo has a meaning because after that, I want to ask you why you have them. Okay. Okay. So mine, he, he knows it better. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Jinyame. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is Akofna. Mm -hmm. it's, it means you're courageous. Mm -hmm. And then I have others here, which okay. I will explain later. Let's see your tattoos and what it is. Okay, come closer. You see it. Do you get it? Okay. I've, I've seen these tattoos a lot of times connected to Africans and African diaspora. What does it mean? So this is the ang. You know, okay. in our local local language, we call it the kuyaba. Kuyaba. So in the olden days, that's what our forefathers believed in. Like, if it, if it's very difficult for you to give them, 
they have a symbol like that in the wooden form and they put it on the lab. Okay. You know, and that's what they do believe in. And after they've done that, you're gonna it's gonna come in, you know. Okay. That's what our forefather used to believe in. Okay. That's what so this symbol means an arc or a Okay. Mm. All right. That's All right. It. And so it's also like it's, it's it's like it's a symbol of life. Life. Okay. Life. 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 Yeah. But but I'll take the first explanation. Okay. <laughs> But I wouldn't get personal anyway. But <laughs> I mean, sitting here with you guys, I'm the only different person here in terms of the hair. She's Rasta dreadlocks. Yours is like, how many years do you have? It'll be like 15 years. 15 now. years. Yeah. And yours? Uh, two. Two years. Two years. So um, 13 years more, it will be like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this, this leads to my question. Who is allowed here? I feel okay. like is it only Rastafarians? Is it only conscious people? When I say conscious, you know, conscious people, or like anybody is welcome. You know, this because is I have like, uh -huh. everyone is welcome. You know, it, you don't need to be having the bread. You no, know, everybody is welcome. It's all about if you have a free spirit, open mind there. Okay. You know, that's where you're most welcome. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so, so everybody is welcome. Yes. Even the pastors are also yeah. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, somebody come. You've been here for a while. Let me ask about the food. Oh, somebody, gosh. somebody comes here. Yes. And then want to eat. Maybe the, the person um, sleeps here. Okay. And then want to eat. Uh -huh. What do you have here? Uh, whatever, whatever is fresh and local. So it's all vegan vibe, which is a hundred percent necessary for me. It was very difficult in a lot of places to find vegan food. Um, so. It's like a surprise. Okay. Like some days it's contoure stew. Some <laughs> days it's peanut stew. Peanut stew. Yeah. Maybe there's always kebabs around. He's yeah, uh, a kebab, kebab monster. Kebab monster. <laughs> <laughs> I just had almost like ten pieces. <laughs> <laughs> but it's but it's it's, 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 it's vegan. vegan. It's okay. vegan. It's vegan. It's, okay. it's kebab uh -huh. okay. with a little spice on it. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. So nice. So nice. <laughs> yeah. I watch your instagram videos yeah. and i see you play with a lot of kids you like kids they come you buy I them love, stuff and them. okay kids. maybe the you know what the kids videos the tattoo on both hands will tell you something yeah. so we might have some kids later on maybe <laughs> I, th I think, maybe. I think see, see it's, it's all part of my goal like this year i'm just gonna look for someone that i get that pregnant Oh, so it's someone's like, daughter. It's like it's someone's like, daughter. Yeah, like, someone's daughter. Oh, whatever. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> 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 Touch people. <laughs> right, so, so hey, um, we have the good vibe. I mean, I love it already. If you're coming to Ghana and you wish you want to have something like this, uh, I'll put the Instagram ID on it, and then I also put their emails under it. Just send them an email, and then we will take it from your last message to brothers like you who are out there and want to come just come give it a try um be open-minded and enjoy and don't expect it to be like america it's not america but just come with an open mind the last word peace and love wow. Wow. i tried to make kind of fancy mm -hmm. i don't want to be free yeah free i don't want to be free i don't want to <laughs> so follow us we're going to the top to give you the view from you know one side welcome to keep coast Enemy and balls in bread has in when the hustle has in Alright, so this is where everything goes on. You know what I mean? Conscious. Cause I don't get to Phone, but you know, pick 
Cause I was broken Cause I know get to, cause I know get to, yeah, yeah.